Hello, hello, hello. This is Pip here from QueenPipCards.com. Uh, just trying to sort out my lighting here, make sure that you can see as much as you can. Uh, so welcome. I'm just going to check on my uh, laptop here that I can see you. I can see me seeing you. <laughs> and then we'll get started any second now. So, welcome to everybody. This is my catalogue reveal. I'm going to do some stamping. Oh yeah, there we go. Look, you can see me. That's great. Oh, I've got people on already. Hold on. Let me just mute myself. There we go. Alrighty, good. So hopefully I'll be able to... Oh, shush. Here we go. Hey, hello everybody. Hey, uh, hi. And Lisa, hi. Good, good. And you can't see my laptop. You can see my mouse. I'll move that out of the way. Excellent. All right. So here we are. It's the 5th of September. I'm not quite sure how it got to be the 5th of September, but it is. Um, and the catalogue is live. Yay! Oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. So uh, this is all you've managed to see of the catalogue before because um, I had it, you know, held and tagged down so I wouldn't open it by accident. Today we're going to go and have a look through. I'm not going to do every page. Um, you can get an online copy through my store. Uh, through my blog today as well, uh, I've put a um, put a blog post up with all the links on how to get to the store, how to get to my catalogue online, and how to get a, a catalogue in your hands should you not have one yet. Uh, so yes, if you're not a demonstrator or you have you're um, somebody who doesn't have a demonstrator but you'd like to have a catalogue, then please let me know. So first of all, the lovely catalogue front we've seen before. Let's open it up and get going. So this first page of often gets overlooked but this is actually a stamp set um, this is actually a tin so you know like we had the darling label tin this is the Christmas traditions punch box and it's a, a beautiful tin uh, which is silver and red and it includes this stamp set this is the actual size of the of the stamp so they're quite diddy you know they're they're little um, but they have, they're, they're perfect for tags basically. So that's the idea of them. So you've got sending Christmas wishes, merry and bright, have a holly jolly Christmas, heaven and nature sing, jingle all the way, that's nice, jingle all the way and peace and joy, lovely. Really nice sentiments in a box with two spots, a block, the stamps and the punch. We all love a punch. So you can make a whole set up um, of tags and stuff. Obviously you have to add the cardstock on the paper and the ribbon and stuff, but that gives you that and you have a lovely tin which you can then keep everything in which is always good so that's the first page um, now you've seen this stamp set and um, you've seen this embossing folder and you've seen the dies on here so I'm not going to really hold too much onto this one um, but I do love this all is bright sweet and moving over we have a new set of designer series paper plus a stamp set plus a punch yay more punches we said we wanted punches They've brought us punches. Uh, oh, hi, Elkie. Hi, Lola. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Please do add hearts and stuff and whatever, just to make sure I know that you are there. Um, so I have quite a lot of Merry and Bright to show you because I've been playing with it. I actually was lucky enough to receive this on the ship. So here's just a few couple of... These are just three by three cards, which are diddy, um, just to give you an idea of what the baubles actually look like. They're cute, aren't they? And then my friend, I, I asked her if she wouldn't mind doing me a class for training. So Jane, I hope you don't mind me sharing this with the world. I don't think you will. Um, she she made this beautiful box. So this is a baker's box. You might have seen them on the previous page. These are also new. You can get them uh, now in the catalogue. And she's made a little paper belly band with a stamp set we'll see later. And then in here, she's made some beautiful cards and matching envelopes. I've managed to lose one of them, but hey hey. So we've got um, this one and this one, and I love how she's just added in a few extra bits and pieces and sort of um, brought them up. So this includes the ribbon, which is here. So the ribbon's here, it's beautiful. Um, different, lovely colors. This one she's done a little bit of heat embossing on. So you get that really nice shine, which goes beautifully with the baubles. And this one, she's added a bit of Winker Stella around the back and onto the actual bauble itself and a bit of heat embossing again for the light and for the head of the bauble. What's that called? I don't know what that's called. I don't know. I'll work that out. Um, 
And then on this one she's added a scallop circle of gold glimmer, which is lovely. And here we've got some of the black baker. In fact, she didn't have any black baker's twine, so she actually coloured it. But you could use the black baker's twine. And then she's used Wink of Stella on oh, the screw top. Thank you. Yes, that's exactly what it's called, the screw top on the top of the thing. Thank you. Um, and then this is the uh, star out of the wood crate, which I absolutely love. Um, I've used that quite a lot. So then she did some matching envelopes. Look, aren't they cute? Aren't they just gorgeous? Duh, lovely. These papers, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Oh, hi, Donna. Oh, you're out out for lunch, but you can't stay long. Okay, fair enough. Well, enjoy what you can while you can. So, so these are the envelopes that match. Aren't they lovely? This box is four inches uh, by two, two inches. So it's four that way and two that way. So you get a good stack of cards in a box or some very yummy cookies in a box. Uh, either way, we're going to see more boxes in a little while. I'm going to add those to it just so I don't lose them. They're all put together. And as you can see, you can pop that down. You can tie that with ribbon, or in this case, Jane um, designed a belly band to go over it. So it just slides on like that. And I always normally get these the wrong way around, but I think I've got them the right way around. Yay! Um, so that just slides on there. Okay, so that's so that's the all is bright. Um, oh no, I haven't finished. Oh, hang on, there's more. I forgot, this is also my technical class that we're doing on Saturday. So you've seen the sneak peek picture of just kind of like this bit, one of these. Um, but this is actually what we're making on Saturday. So I hope you don't mind me showing it early. I don't think so. Uh, because you then get it to be an ornament that you can hang up. And it's got some nice stuff on the bat bottom as well. And you can decorate it to your heart's content. But that actual design and how to put it all together uh, will take most of the afternoon. But it's pretty, isn't it? Isn't it lovely? And I've used the vorbal, see, to oh, it all links. It's, it's guess what? It's coordination. That's what Stampin' Up's all about. Okay, so I'm going to take over to the next page now and move on to another favourite, uh, Dashing Deer. Now I didn't, I did have these when we spoke last, but I hadn't actually used them. So I'd like to show you another baker's box, which ha which I have used. The oh look, I've made his leg go up now. I caught his leg. When I put him in the box, I have to stick him down again. Um, but yes, this is a baker's box, and this uses these thinlets and this stamp set, Dashing Deer. And I've paired this with um, copper and gold. You'll have seen this on my blog yesterday. And then the beautiful Merry Merlot and Copper Shimmer ribbon. So it's it's Merry Merlot on one side, and it's Copper Shimmer on the other. It's just gorgeous. And some of the papers from the... Um, joyous noel sweet which we'll get to in a bit but yes i thought you'd like to see that because this is very detailed here and these are actually the the item the 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 pieces that come from this set here so it's worth knowing that so that's that hope you like that if you do tell me always good to know and then my friend diane we were doing swaps at team training and she created this one and i think that's a lovely lovely card isn't that great with the swirls and curls from the embossing folder and then the um this is the uh, what's it called this is the pine needle branch which is from peaceful noel which we'll get to in a minute and then this is obviously him but she's copper embossed him and see he's got all kind of run together because it's um it's one of those stamps that's kind of half and half, so it's half inked, so it's it's inked in different amounts. So when you burst the market, he goes solid. Isn't that lovely? But with just a bit of texture. So I really like that. So that's Dashing Deer and the associated Detailed Deer Thinlets. Okay, so that's that. This stack over here is going to get quite large. Okay, so then that's been proven to be very popular, I think, with a lot of people. Um... This one, this page has been a little bit overlooked and I think it needs to be not overlooked for a couple of reasons. First of all, this is amazing and glorious. Look at this bauble, isn't that stunning? And these, there's a whole set of dies. Can you see that? That whole set of dies there, that little bit there, cuts out all of those in one go. So you can get a smattering of um, these 
baubles across your card like this just with a couple of passes through without having to do these individually cut them out just run it once through and it's done I think that's genius plus there's some intricate ones here and some nice circles and frames as well so I think that's a really lovely set look this frame cuts out these dotty bits that have gone around the edge of the bauble so that's a beautiful set and actually when I looked the um, the number one thing that everyone um, said they thought of with Christmas was their tree and baubles and uh, oh hi Pat oh Pat's watching us from the States hello nice to see you um, I must be early there for you mind you you're an early riser I guess um, but yeah so baubles on the tree was one of the most popular things that people thought symbolised Christmas Christmas tree and the baubles that people put on it so I see that this one's going to be quite popular this one maybe not so much but actually it's quite cute it's a it's a it's got a ski and a sled and some snowshoes and some wreathy bits and bells and all that kind of stuff and jingle all the way christmas greetings let it snow it's got some nice wording and it comes with a detailed set of dark, um, thinlets as well um, and of course both of these are available in bundles that's always a good thing to know um so these tiny little pieces here and this lovely um shape plus the sled and oh, uh, the snowshoe and everything so they come out looking like this you can see down here some of this detailed work isn't that lovely so i think that's a nice set but the hidden gem i think on this page are these foiled edged cards and envelopes so i'm going to show you those now these i've only got the gold ones I haven't got the silver ones yet but these are lovely the the envelopes are quite lightweight but they are gold foiled and they still feel nice, which is good. You know, sometimes lightweight cards feel yucky um, and lightweight envelopes feel yucky. And then look at that gold border on that. Isn't that lovely? And you get the same with the silver. So you can get 20 white cards and the envelopes to match um, all in for 875 gold or silver. I think, that's, I think that's a bargain. So they're quite good. And I'll show you a card later on that's using them so you can see that. Now, Festive Farmhouse, this drew me. I don't know why, because I don't really like this sort of car image. And I'm not into kind of like building scenes, but actually this one I'm taken with. I haven't got it yet, but the thing that really drew me to it is this piece here in the dies. And it cuts out this beautiful fence. Can you see? I don't know. But it cuts out this lovely fence. And look here, they've put a dip in it to make it that kind of a fence as well. Isn't that amazing? So I really love that. And my friend Jane, again, we did swaps. I need to take this out of the bag. I've kept it in the bag to keep it clean. But Jane did a fabulous swap for us at team training. Look at that. Isn't that glorious? So it's got some of the paper from the paper. And it's got the house with some sparkle embossing paste for the snow. And then some plain embossing paste for the ground. And then... Um, Dazzling diamonds in here for the tree. Happy Christmas wishes, which is um, this one here. And then this is the die that cuts it out and it's all stitched and corrugated. And it's, I mean, isn't that just yummy? I mean, okay, you wouldn't make a hundred of them because <laughs> it would take you quite a long time to make a hundred of those. Um, but for your, you know, for some friends who lived in the country or, you know, had that kind of. Um, outdoorsy kind of feel to their homes that would be really good I think so yeah that set's definitely on my wish list might not be on my buy right now list because I've had to buy other I've had to buy other things but it's on my definitely for later list so that's far festive farmhouse that's cool isn't it I like that then we get into some coloring sets Okay, we kind of know they're colouring because they've got pens with them. A bit of a giveaway. So we've got some real red blends and some shaded spruce blends. Yes, which are lovely. And then this set here with some angels and a poinsettia and the three kings and the star. And then down here, a bit like we have with the um, thanks and uh, thank you and hello set. They've done the same, but with the joy and Noel. well. I really like that. That's going to be in... Um, that's going to be in a class if I can get that sorted for Christmas and then because I just think it's beautiful and it's like 18 pounds which is nice because they're rubber so it lasts forever uh, and they really do come out beautifully uh, you can see here look see how that's come out there 
Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, and then this one here, great for families with children. Um, Christmas time is here. Uh, lots of love at Christmas. Time for happiness and cheer. And um, yeah, just some nice traditional images which are great for colouring in. So that's also good. And then, oh, I'm jumping over. And then here's the one that Jane used on the top of her box. See this one here? This big bow here is this big bow here. And, you know, it was one of those sets that I'd kind of looked at and gone, yeah, it's all right. But as she pointed out to me, it's got some beautiful straight lines and edges and some lovely straight line um, framelit dies here that cut out these beautiful uh, ribbon effect pieces of cardstock. And actually, that's quite lovely. And I do like this bow. I like this bow very much. It's mirrored in another stamp set, and I like that one a lot, which I will show you. So that's quite good. Again, it's a bundle, 10% off, always handy. This one's for the stitchers amongst you. If you like a lot of cross-stitching, um, you can create these. I mean, they look a bit weird, those, but when you see them stamped up, you can see that it's got multiple um, colours going through. And see the blue here from the bauble. It's nice, isn't it? See? Isn't that lovely? And then this bit here is this bit here. So I like that. And again, a great use for your stamparatus so that you're always stamping in exactly the right place. So that's good. Then it's my favourite. Well, one of my favourites, but really my favourite. Well, sort of second favourite. First favourite, second favourite. I'm not sure. The Santa's Workshop is just so cute. Cute, 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 cute. Um, so cute, in fact, that I... Um, I've made loads of things which I've then given away. <laughs> However, again, team swaps come in very handy. Uh, so I'm going to show you both my swap and another friend of mine, another Jane, Jane Wilson this time. Oh, here we go. Uh, and these were the swaps we got with this. Look at that. Aren't they cute? Cute, cute, cute. So this is this little elf here. And then you've got his little butt trolley and a little... Um, present and then this is this signpost with two of them put on this one and this one isn't that lovely fabulous really like that so then this one's coming up on my blog tomorrow so you're getting a sneak peek uh, this is what I did for a swap which is using the corrugated I love this it's got real texture to it this corrugated embossing folder some of the paper from all is bright and a few a little strip of washi tape which we'll come to in a minute Naughty and nice tag. I'll come to that in a minute too. And then, of course, the Father Christmas. And I did a whole bunch. I did the mum and the elves and all different types. And, of course, I've given them all away. And I've also handed them out as part of my um, catalogues. But I do still have a few elves left that I've coloured in. Look. And, you know, they don't take long at all to do. And they're so cute. There's another one of that one. Oh, there's another one of that one. I don't have any of the different ones. So I've made them in different colours. This one, obviously, I've done uh, the Father Christmas in red as normal. And then on the envelope, I just stamped the North Pole. And then on the back, I did the official seal of the North Pole because all of those are in this stamp set. Uh, it also comes with the Do Not Open Till Christmas and the whole set of framelits to match as well. So it's a really, really fun, cute kit, which I think is going to fly off the shelves. I think that's got to be just adorable. And great for kids as well. Kids parties at Christmas you could do invitations for. They've got little Santa's bags so you could even decorate and give them out as gifts. Um, also enamel shapes of Christmas trees and snowflakes and bows and all that kind of stuff. Plus who doesn't love red rhinestones as ever and some brilliant ideas here on the side. Then you turn over and there's more because on this side you've got this candy cane season stamp set and punch which is a, a coordinating bundle which coordinates with this set um, and somewhere in my little basket here I had a swap where's my swap gone there it is so this was made by Hillary from what from my tip from my second level in my team and she's put this little um, one of the no these two must be these two onto shrink plastic little shrinkies and um, she's 
popped them in the oven, heated them up and turned them into tiny little candy canes to hang on her, her wreath. Isn't that just amazing? And this is the bow which comes with the punch. So isn't that cute? And then here's the stamp around the side with this and um, the rest of the boa is actually made out of uh, Peaceful Noel which I will show you again in a minute. But I thought that was so cute, really cute. So well done Hills. Um, and then we come straight over to this side because it also coordinates with this, which is the Memories and More kit uh, for Santa's workshop. And I decided to make up some of these. We're going to be using this kit and more in my all day class um, on the 3rd of November. And I just love these cards. Uh, they have just come up so quickly and easily. Here I've added an elf because I felt like he needed to be pulled by somebody. So Santa's being pulled by his elf rather than Rudolph. This one's straight out the pack. Stick it, glue it and off you go. This one we've chopped up and chopped down a bit. But look at all that sparkly all in the kit. And this one, look at this one. And again you get stickers, you get all kinds of things with this kit. It is adorable, cute but quick. So you get with this kit... You can buy the envelopes and card bases, these Poppy Parade card bases. And then you can buy the Memories and More kit, which comes with 50 double-sided cards. Um, some in the 6-inch size and some in the little size, 3-inch size. Um, four sticker sheets and it's also acid-free and lignin-free. So you can use it for your scrapbooking and your memory keeping as well. So we're going to be having a lot of fun with this set on the 3rd of November. It's an all day class. So if you want to come with that, come and play with that, then that's your day. OK, so that takes us past Santa's workshop. How are we doing on time? Oh, 23 minutes. You need to hurry up. OK, <laughs> I get a bit carried away. Now, this is also a set which, again, I think has been mis, um, maybe maybe not taken so much notice of as, as I think it should be. But this one here. It's, it's poinsettias and holly and you think, oh yeah, lovely, nice sentiments, great. But again, the detailed dies. If you can see on this page, and I think I put it up on my blog or up on my Facebook. Actually, it's on my blog today. See how you get this cut out? That's a cut out die. So it doesn't cut out the poinsettia. It cuts out the element of the poinsettia from the card base and then just raised up with some dimensionals. It gives a beautiful look. So, yeah, I want it all. God, I want it all. Anyway, um, so then this on this side here, again, we've got a lovely colouring set. Great for your big, bold Christmas cards. Look at that done with the aqua painter in the blue and the yellow. That is beautiful, stunning. And down here, we've got something for our Southern Shores team uh, and uh, demonstrators and customers because this has got the guys having Christmas on a Barbie because, obviously, if you're in the South Southern Hemisphere... It's hot over Christmas, so um, so that's always good. Oh, we've got, hello, J Jay or Barry, one of the two, and Jane. Hello, Jane. You missed, I've told everybody all about you. So <laughs> you'll have to go back and watch it again. Um, but yes, uh, that's that's a, a good fun set, especially if you've got, if you've got relatives in South Africa or uh, Australia, New Zealand, anything like that, then that would be great to send them a card. Um I mean, look, ho, 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 who needs snow? Yeah, that's quite cool. <laughs> OK, so then we're coming on to timeless tags, uh, which I wanted to show you. What have I done with it? There it is. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to show you this one because it doesn't look like much in the set, in the stamps in the catalogue. And then you get it and it, it looks like that. But actually, when you open it up, you have this size stamp. OK, and this size stamp I put it on my Stamparatus. You can put it onto a big block as well, but I think it works really well on your Stamparatus because you can get nice even pressure over the entire um, size of the of the stamp. And it also means that you don't move it or stretch it because there are a couple of pieces that you have to be careful of. Like, don't ever lift it from this side to pull it off because see that one that one's left behind and you could rip that okay so t my suggestion is always pull it off from this side with the present go with the always go for the present first it's always my it's always a good plan go for the present
will just take that off um, and they will get it open. And the reason why it's important to then put it down flat is because there is a... No, wrong set of dies. Oh, where have I... Oh, look, I've got all myself out of... Here we go. Out of all sync. And I got it all nice and neat and everything as well. So then there is an entire die that basically cuts out your whole stamp. Woohoo! Isn't that brilliant? All in one go. You just have to line up basically here and this enjoy bit down here. If you get those two right, then the rest of it fits and works perfectly. Those are the two you need to worry about. And then all you need to worry about when you do it is just make sure you empty all the holes where the tags come through. And you get tiny, tiny little tags, which you can use as a tag or you can add as an embellishment to a bigger you know, circle or something like that and turn into a bigger tag. But the gingerbread man is so cute. And here's that bow again. It's the same kind of bow as they had in that other stamp set. And it's just lovely. Ah, so many nice things. I have to say they've outdone themselves with this catalogue. They just, yeah. So what do you think? Give us some love. Show us your hearts. Maybe you're showing hearts and I'm not seeing it, but I'm not seeing anything on screen. So if you like this stuff, show me, give me some hearts. Um, on this side, we've got, um, nothing sweeter which is basically i think um a stamp set for very quick and simple cards but also has some nice additional stitched elements to it so like the heart is stitched a hey, thank you i've got hearts yay <laughs> um so yes yeah, so these have got some stitched elements to them again the frame looks more going on for them rather than just cutting it out but i kind of like the fact these look hand on and then you can add different bits into it different bits and pieces to it. I think that's a nice, a cute set that's not over fussy or anything. It's just, you know, some nice solid images uh, that you can cut out and add and make a bit special. This page is all about, I think, um, decorative, detailed, delicate uh, Christmas. Yeah. You've got these beautiful Christmas tree and these lovely, what I would say, a silver birch. Uh, and then the silver birch... Um, trunks just on their own and again paired with a gl glorious uh, framelit set here and then on this side look at this this beautiful angel st I mean could be a marble angel or it looks like a girl drawn uh, as if she's alive you know it's a beautiful angel here with a lovely en corner embellishment and some br beautiful wording um, and it's in rubber so you know it's going to stamp beautifully even that really delicate writing is going to stamp well and then here you've got some fabulous sentiments i'm going to show that to my vicar i think he'll like that um you could really use this i mean you could use this even you know steampunk if you wanted to you could take her and take her out um you could definitely use it down here it's definitely been uh, vintaged up and made shabby and you know, almost almost grungy, but not quite down here. Whereas the Rejoice here is used with the Hearts Come Home uh, edgelets, which carried over from last year. And that's just cr clean and crisp and really pretty. So again, lots of different people will ha love lots of different things in this catalogue, I think. Um, I'm just conscious that you might not be getting the best light, but I think I'm doing this as best as I can at the moment. I don't know why my light's a bit funny. Uh, I must... I think that one's not quite bright enough. Hold on a second. I'm going to just see if I can... Is that a bit better? Oh, yeah, maybe a little bit better. Okay, good. Um, so then we come to Joy's Noel. Now, anyone who's coming to my retreats at Christmas, this is the bundle. You should have received an email from me yesterday, um, last night. This is the bundle that we were using. So you'll get this stamp set and you'll get this punch. So I'm going to show you that I've done because um, it's all done for the retreat which as you know is all um, exclusive for my customers so um, I do show it a bit afterwards but I don't tend to show um, too much beforehand you can see remember I showed you these two this is made with this one um, and this uses pretty much all of them so you can see how you can build up wreaths and all kinds of things so we'll be doing all that kind of fun when we go to retreat uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And it is a, just a gorgeous stamp set. Very traditional, but actually quite modern at the same time, which I know sounds really bizarre, but is actually really true. Uh, it also comes with, this suite comes with some fabulous glimmer paper. 
and I say fabulous because it's like nothing else we've ever had. First of all, six for six, yeah, we've had that before, but this stuff doesn't shed at all. You can cut it, you can punch it, you can do whatever with it, nothing comes off. And it has a paper back, whereas I think our other stuff before had a, well, I think it had a more plasticky back. So it made it really hard to stick down to anything. This sticks like a breeze. Stuff sticks to it because it's not shedding. So it is fabulous, fabulous glitter paper. And I know at least one customer, he will be delighted that we have glimmer paper that doesn't shed at all because she doesn't like glitter. I know, shock horror. But we have to have it for Christmas, don't we? And there's the lovely shimmer ribbon, which I showed you before. Um we used in on this box this shimmer ribbon it's from here if you're interested on page 29 okay so let's move on here we've got a uh, feathers and frost great little robins we've been asking for robins for years and here we have little robins and then we have the take your pick tool which i think i showed you before but it is just fabulous one end is sticky and it is sticky or it'll, it'll pick up quite big things actually I can't remember what I was using it for yesterday but it picks up quite big things and you can screw the thing and get more out and you get a refill with it and you can buy a refill so that's good then you get I haven't actually got um where's the box I've lost the box that I have it in I put it somewhere safe that's why no I can't see it I've tied it up can't find it. Um, but the box has got a score on it. I use mine from my scoreboard, so I don't need it. That's why I didn't um, keep it. But, um, yeah, so it has a, an end on here that you can do um, scoring with, with a big scoring end and a small scoring end. But it also has this, which is like a spatula -y thing, and then you unlock it, and it comes out, and you have a pokey tool. Do not take this on an aeroplane with you. You will be stopped and they will take this off of you because that, I think, would be counted as a deadly weapon. So so that's just one thing to, to note. Don't take it in your hand luggage. But this spatula thing, it's amazing. You can, like, take off um, sticky things that have been attached. So when you put rhinestones down and then, they, and then you want to get them off again, you can. It's fab. Look at this. I'll show you with these. So here are some gold... Um, oh, where are they? Oh, look, see, that one's just come off all by itself. So it's stuck there now, yeah? But you can get underneath it with the spatula -y thing. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, it's jumped. And then hold it with the spatula thing. And then you can put it down wherever you fancy. So I could put it down in the middle of this thing. Middle of here, middle of here. Let's get down here. And then, and it slides off. So, and then you can actually get underneath it. So you, you can actually get underneath big things as well. See this? I stuck this down with a glue dot. Oh, look, if it's not in the right place, you can get it off. And then you can put it back down again. Isn't that amazing? That is just fabulous. That, I've used it loads. Not that I always make things in the wrong place, but just some things always go in the wrong place, you know? So there you go. So I lo really love your take, take my pick tool. Well, it's my tool, but it's take your pick. Yeah. And, of course, sequins and stuff and normal stuff. So that's really good. Um, and, is again, something you might miss if you just skim through the catalogue. Beautiful house. Not quite so sure about the, the, you know, inside of a house with the teacup and the pie and the, you know. But for a cook, really good. Uh, then we have a tag kit, which is lovely. Uh, has masses and masses in it and the tin's quite big actually it's it's a nice size so if you want to make tags this Christmas these are the ones I recommend if you want to make cards this Christmas and maybe you're not a crafter maybe you are not somebody who does crafting throughout the year you might only craft at Christmas because you just want to make cards for your friends this then is the tag is the set for you the cards and the envelopes are beautiful and they are designed for newbies now I've stepped a couple of these up but look, 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 look. They look quite dark in the in the catalogue, but when you see them in real life, they just, aren't they just gorgeous? And look at the envelopes. <gasps> look, 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 and there's a red one too. Look, pinky red and green envelopes. So pretty, so pretty. Oh, look at the gold lush. These are thicker than the other ones as well, so they've got a real luxurious feel. Beautiful stickers, 
um, you know, not much to do. Stamping, that's the only thing you need to do in this kit. And positioning. And then I up, I, I just did a little bit of different, because, you know, you can. <laughs> um, and I did some of this gold and vanilla trim. Oh, Janice is on. Hi, Janice. Nice to see you. Well, not see you, but, you know, nice to have you with us. Um, and, yeah, this is just glorious. So this is on page 33 of the catalogue, which is what we're going through at the moment. And I want to show you some of the bases, but I'm not sure if I've actually got any that I haven't done anything with. I'm sure I did have. Where are they? Here we go. So it comes in a pack like this. It comes with full instructions, as our kits always do. OK, so you can see how you do... Oops. Yeah. Get it undone. That's the hard part. It comes with instructions on how to put them together. But this kit actually was designed or... Um, at least the design was definitely helped along by Sarah, our CEO. And she wanted some things specifically added to the designs for non-crafters or people who don't craft very often and maybe need a little bit of a helping hand. So what she asked for and what they've done is they've put little lines on your card bases. You can see it better on this one, I think. See there's a line there? That is where you put your sticker so you just you just work out which one of the stickery things it is it's this one and it actually tells you in the instructions so this is going to make this card okay so all you do is you just peel off your sticker like that yeah, the only thing is occasionally some of these things stay in the holes I've only found it with a couple of them and typically it's the one where I'm on television well, video, but you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so you literally peel and then you just line the edge up with that line. I don't know if I can see it. There we go. And stick. Okay. And guess what? If you make a mistake, oh no, it's crooked. These are great because you can actually peel them back off. Look at that. So you can't really go wrong with these, she says. Um, probably going to go wrong now, but I think they're fab. Aren't they great? So that's so easy, especially for new crafters or crafters, as I say, if you don't craft that often um, or you just don't want to think. Hey, Janice. Hello. <laughs> or, or if you just don't really want to think very much about your crafting at Christmas and you just want to chat with your friends and get on with it. Um, you know, you could knock this kit up in probably an hour or so. Um, and it comes with all the gems and all the em pretty embellishments. And the, the, just be careful when you stamp because there are only one of each. There's only enough for one of each. So just be careful when you stamp. But the stamps are lovely. And worst case scenario, punch out another circle. It's not really, in, in, you know, very vanilla. It's not exactly the biggest um, thingy in the world if you don't... Um, you know, if you miss stamp one. Um, oh, and I've done some... I'm trying to see where's... Here we go. Here's a good one to explain. So, here, it says to use stays on in the kit. I know some people don't like stays on. I love stays on, but there you go. Stays on gives you this dark black. And Memento gives you this kind of grey colour. I think both of them look good. I don't think any either of them look bad. So, you know, you can use whichever you fancy. So don't think you have to have stays on, but... So that's great. So you need to buy the stamps, you need to buy the kit, and then it tells you down here that all you need to add on is some snails, some dimensionals, and an ink pad. So, you know, jobs are good. I think everyone's got a black ink pad at home. Um, and glue and dimensionals, well, I think all of us have got that. So you're literally just buying those two items, so that's pretty good. Uh, here is a whole page about all the different stamping up blends or stamping blends that they've brought in through the catalogue. So you've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve new um, pens, six new combination colours. Uh, so that's really good. And some really nice ones, some Halloween-y colours, um, Blackberry Bliss, I know will be some people's favourite, Shaded Spruce, Real Red, um, and Mango Melody, which is a lovely orangey colour. Uh, so that's nice. And then on this page, this page also I think you could overlook, but this is a... A kind of a non-Christmas Christmas, if you see what I mean. Because you can do um, like a wreath for Christmas, but you can do like a harvest bouquet. Or you can add flowers to it and make it a spring bouquet. You've got a beautiful bow. And 
these are um, distinctive so they're they're rubber but they're what they call their distinctive stamps so they stamp as if it was a almost like a, a photograph almost but um, but you can tell that it's been stamped so you can see here the beautiful look at that bow it's see-through even though you're stamping it it's just amazing so I really like that and here it tells you how to get all of the things that you need to make these cards just with one item code so that's a really good thing so that's good page 35 distinctive stamping then we come on to the frosted floral suite which again is more of an all round all seasons the papers are just beautiful and you can see that they have these amazing frosted and clear epoxy droplets plus some gorgeous velvet ribbon and again a lovely um, stamp set with dies that coordinate but this isn't really Christmas it, I mean you can use it as Christmas but it's got wishing you all the best congratulations um, I guess this one here's to a season filled with warmth comfort and good cheer that's probably the only Christmassy thing out of it but again how you make it up how you design it how you lay it out on the card all of that stuff can make it a Christmas with a difference so you don't have to be the reds and the greens if you want to be different Although I know some of my customers would will gasp at the thought of not having red and green for Christmas. OK, moving on, we get into snowflakes and snowmen and all things snowy, which is just amazing. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Some cute little snowmen. I like this with the man and the woman um, with a heart. And I, that's just really lovely. And then on this side, again, snowflakes. Now, I want to show you the dies because I just bought the dies because I can't buy everything in the catalogue. But the dies are beautiful. And again, they come on this single, oops, where is it? They come on this single sheet. So you cut all of the snowflakes out in, in one go. So none of them actually coordinate with the stamp set, which is why you can buy the stamp, this die, separately. Um, so this die, you can run through and you can do several things with. So you can use it with the uh, embossing mats I just recently did my advanced big shot class and you can basically get that as an embossed background you can cut out all of the snowflakes and have lots and lots of snowflakes to play with and you can use what's left over so when you take you know the the um, take out all of the, the snowflakes and you're left with a piece of card that has snowflake designs in it so that can be then used as a background or you can even use it as a stencil so there are loads of things you can do with the snowflake die, and I just love it. But again, there are hidden gems on every page that you have to go hunting for. And the hidden gem on this one are these shimmer paints. They are delicious. Think Wink of Stella, but thicker and in a bottle. And you get, it's like a, it is a paint. Um, you get copper, champagne mist, frost white, and Vegas gold. Now, anyone who's been around a while, will know that we had these before. So if you still have the Champagne Mist and the Frost White, they're exactly the same. The reason I know that is because I've got them and they are exactly the same. Um, but the Copper and the Gold are new. We didn't have those, I don't believe, before. Not those two particular types. Uh, and they are yummy. I'm just going to go and grab my pot so I can show you. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. So... Oops. They they also um, fit very nicely in one of these, which is our wooden um, wood cases that you can get separately. So they fit standing up like that. So you could fit all four in there, I think, and that stops them from going everywhere in your bag. Okay, so like the rackers. <laughs> See, so. They have a little ball inside, as you could hear. And when you open them up, look at that. Can you see that? See how glistening that is? I'm going to try and come close. So, and then I'm going to wait a bit because obviously you're behind me. So I'm going to just, oh yeah, you can see that quite well. So this is the copper and it's beautiful. I need to get the stuff off the sides that's come down from the lid because actually you can use all of that. Uh, and I would use a sponge or a dauber to put that on. And then this is the champ. Uh, this is the frost white. So you can see it's like a real beautiful frosty. Just pop that um, 
glistening snow like and you can use these on your stamps i will be doing some a lot more with this but you can stamp with them you can daub with them you can sponge with them you can add color to them amazing so if you like doing lots of different fun techniques with paint and ink um, then those are definitely something you should add and a little goes a long way uh, you just need to use what's in the lid really you don't actually need to pour any out unless you're doing some mass sponging okay so that's those then we move on to more sort of scenic views so we have the beautiful Cambridge carols which has got the um, I'm guessing that's King's, Col King's College Cambridge maybe but or something of that ilk plus a tree in a wheelbarrow a traditional wheelbarrow a traditional cart really and then this beautiful over the bridge with two people skating on the river so that's very nice if you want to do any painting or, or watercoloring like that and then we have the owl who's looking just gorgeous peering out look at this look at the die cut of the owl isn't that just beautiful and then you have the stamp set as well so you have the stamp and then you have the um, outline owl they're beautiful and then up here is a mosaic -y kind of flourish fil filigree is what it's called um, which is also nice I guess for a bit more of a um, elegant traditional kind of Christmas then we move away from Christmas and we're into Country Lane and this is harvest, springtime, uh, everything really. It doesn't have to be, this is all, it's a country home but it's all seasons I think. So we have the mosaic stamp which matches with um, the tin tile dynamic textured embossing folder. So that's a really thick one. You can see here the tiles that have been made on this 8x8 frame. And then you've got these churns and jugs and the flowers and stuff that, that you know they sit on top and again nice for coloring with the blends really good some lovely colors autumny harvesty but not over the top thanksgiving z if you know what i mean so you know i know for the america my american friends thanksgiving is a big deal but for us over here it isn't and i like the fact that they've taken stuff which could be used for thanksgiving but also they've taken it and we can use it for everything else so harvest springs to mind but also lots of different thank you cards so i like that then on this one this is this does say happy thanksgiving but again look you've got pheasants yeah i know lots of people who, who like pheasants and then you've got some squashes and some pumpkins but again it's a bit more traditional um in the farmer farming community that kind of look to it and then this was we had something very similar to this a couple of years back and it was very popular falling falling for falling for leaves no not falling leaves but falling for leaves um which i think that's a that's a very modern um almost an art deco -y kind of look to to the uh the way that that's done and how the die cuts have cut out again pretty then we have this um it, it's a bit it's a weird one you stamp them individually and then you get all these different colors so you stamp lots of different colors and you get this kind of rainbow stamping effect which is very pretty uh, and then we have on this side many blessings which I have and I think this is a re oh I forgot to show you oh, sorry this was a swap from uh, the boys Barry and Jay if you're still here um, with the shimmer paint through a mask isn't that glorious isn't that gorgeous mm. yum 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 um, so yes but I do have many blessings here and this one counts with um, so again, you can do this for Christmas, you can do it for harvest, you can do it thank you, uh, you can do it for sunny sunflowers um, or baubles or stars. You know, again, it's a right mixture of things so that you can do, you know, a very Christmas scene or a very harvesty scene, but also just a sunny scene. And that's what I did here. So I used some of the papers from Country Lane and then I used um, this boa here. Uh, to do the background and I coloured it with autumnal colour autumnal colours um, uh, this is with um, garden green and daffodil delight or and crushed curry and I just picked up the Cajun craze here in the grapefruit grove thing um, ribbon and I stamped a little one on the envelope and on the back of the envelope and of course I used my gold foiled envelopes so I didn't have to actually use a layer of gold on there so that's quite handy so yeah so I like that it's a little set um 16 pounds but you get all of that in it it's a nice photopolymer set I quite like that one I think it's a 
that's a good one to have and then over here well who doesn't love a penguin uh, this is making every day bright and this stamp set actually coordinates with the punch that's right back here at the beginning so you'd be forgiven if you didn't quite realize that but it's the same as that one so you get the Christmas one as a bundle and then you can just add on the everyday one for an additional £15 and you get all of these additional things. So you get a spider's web if you want one for Halloween, a heart for um, Valentine's Day. You ha They could either be eggs or balloons, whichever, and a rabbit for Easter, a flower, a feather, and that's a two-tone feather if you want to, and a penguin. And this little funny thing here goes into the egg for the rabbit. I'm not quite sure why you'd have a, reg and a rabbit coming out of an egg, but anyway. And then this little funny thing here is the hat to colour in the penguins. Okay, and then you've got your light bulb screwing thing again. Some snowflakes, a lucky clover, a heart, a little drawstring pull, um, another bauble top, and then of course pine cones and baubles again. So... Oh, and this one here makes a flower. Look, isn't that beautiful? With the punch. So, you know, you can really add to that uh, original bundle and get loads of good stuff out of that. I think that's good. Or you could just get that one on its own with a punch. It's so cute. Does a whole year. Fabulous. Okay, and then we're into Halloween. Uh, and this is lovely if you like Halloween. I personally don't do Halloween, but I know it's getting bigger. And I think this would be quite cute and would attract quite a few people to it. This is where you find the baker's boxes that we've been using and showing off. Okay, baker's boxes down here in the Halloween section. Uh, spider trinkets, twi trinkets, not so sure. But this glittery gold organza ribbon, organdy ribbon, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, that's real sparkle in there. And again, completely overlooked. You'll overlook it if it's down here. So, um, yes, oh good, it's, it's, the, oh Ruth's joined, hello, hi Ruth, nice to have you here, um, and also here, black foil sheets, so these are actual very, um, they haven't got a picture on here, but they are, um, shiny, um, so you can make metallic, black metallic accents out of it, so there you go, um, moving on, we have a lovely little takeout treat box, stamp set and dies, here, and then we have a really cute, I actually quite like this set, trick or, trick or tweet. <laughs> so you've got party animal, batty for you, and you've got a little bird with a ghost hood on, and an elephant which has somehow got wings and a, and a Batman cape like uh, mask on. You've got a little dog with a witch's hat on and cape, and a cat that's wrapped up like a mummy. I mean, they are quite—they are really quite cute. So I quite like this set. Uh, if I did Halloween, this would be the set that I got because I think it's so cute. Um, and then spooky sweets. You've got this stamp set here, and then you this one, this uh, moon and the star. They go with the twinkle stamp um, punch that goes with the baby set actually in the main catalogue but then they've brought in this new bat stamp and bat punch which i think is quite cute too but then we like bats not for halloween we just like bats so you know we'd probably buy the i'll probably buy the bat punch just for doing some of our photos and stuff but again some really nice things and that takeout box i think will be overlooked but it is a nice little cute little box size um which the finished box size is five centimeters by four by five so about two two inch just on two inch one and a half two inches you know just over so it's, it's, it's a kind of a weird size but it's nice um and then we're into the final pages and people really shouldn't overlook these pages because in here this is the host section this month we have a special going dashing along so if your party sales come to 200 you'll get some free papers which are exclusive just to hosts and you don't have to host a party you can just get a group of friends together who want to order some stuff ping me and we'll put the order through as a party and you'll get the papers or you can just put through an order on your own that's fine um and you obviously you already get your stamping rewards so if you spend 150 you get 10 percent 275 you get 12 400 you get 14 plus a free item a half price item so this section is overlooked by people but it's actually really good and i would like to stress that you don't have to do it all yourself you can do it with some friends together um and if you put that all through me then we can get you that you know so you get free spend which is fabulous i know lots of people who've done that uh and also 
if you have a massive massive wish list and don't want those rewards you want an ongoing reward then the joining offer is still fabulous £130 with the product for just £99 and you get to have me as your team leader which is quite good fun well some people would think so anyway I hope so um but the other thing that you need to notice is this back page. This back page has stamp sets in it that are only available for hosts. So you have to hit £150 in one order. But as soon as you do, you then get 10% spend back. And with that 10%, you can buy these items. And the, the reason why these are exclusive to hosts and the reason why I would suggest that you always look at them is because you don't pay what they're really worth. So the value of this stamp set is £16, this one, okay? You will get it for £9.50 with your host rewards and you automatically get £15 um, when you get to £150. And then this one, the value is £27 if it's wood or £20 if it's um, clear mount and you only pay £12. So again, and that's such a cute stockings uh, stamp set there. So always have a look at the um, at the host pages if, you, if you're going to put a big order in. They're really worthwhile having a look at and that I really love. So, you know, I think it covers a lot. Okay, so I think we're there. We're pretty much at the end. Um, I was going to do a little bit of stamping. Um, but I don't know whether everybody wants me to really because I've gone on quite a long time um, and I don't know whether you're all feeling a bit kind of like Ooh. Um, I was going to just stamp a few of these so I will just um, I like the fact that this stamp set which is the timeless tidings which goes with the kit you get three additional images uh, well four actually because you get this dotted line here too and a happy new year is a sentiment you could put inside but these are additional and they don't they're not actually used on the cards but you could use those on your own cards easy peasy so let me get this one off comfort one and I will just show you something as well that you need to know okay and I'm going to use memento just because it's easier for cleaning purposes so when you get your kit for your timeless tags there is two circles or there are two circles should I say and this one's got the word small circle on it. And here it says small circle with an arrow. OK, just because when they're actually sitting side by side, it looks obvious. But when you're in the midst of crafting, it might not be so obvious. So just make sure that you just pay attention to which ones are which. So I'm going to use this with the small circle. And I'm just going to ink that up so you can see how easy it is to fit that in the circle. Especially if you're like, oh, I'm not sure about red rubber I can't see through but actually once you get your eye in straight up straight down see comes out okay and I've not had any of them really go off badly the one that's a little bit nerve-wracking is this one because you just like it's one it's quite tight to the sides but just breathe and it's fine um, <laughs> so so yes yeah, so that's kind of it that's where we're up to um, I don't know if anyone's got any questions or has any thoughts about anything or if you've just been like, wow, we really like the catalogue. I know lots of people on here are teamies. So you've already seen all this for the last um, you know, month or so, because that's one of the benefits of being a team member is that you get to see the catalogues before anybody else. But yes, so I will leave you with a few, um, a few of my favourites, my little centre. Santa's workshop and if you've got any questions or you want to order or you're not quite sure what um, what to buy or what would be the best thing to go for then just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can so thanks for watching oh hi Jackie I didn't see you join there at the end hello um, but yeah thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you're all now the kids are kind of finally back at school or should be by now or tomorrow um, now you can start thinking about your Christmas crafting, which is uh, really only just around the corner. And I know I don't want to scare people, but the earlier you start, the better the better chance you have of finishing. So uh, if you want to send your own Christmas cards this year, let me know. I would be more than happy to help you succeed in that. All right. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care now. Bye bye. Bye.